worship leader and author Sean Foyt made headlines for traveling across America with his Let Us Worship tour and bringing people together during the coronavirus pandemic. He led thousands of people in worship during the height of the pandemic when much of the country was on lockdown. Now there's a new documentary. It's called Super Spreader. It covers Mr. Foyt's ministry and the controversial tour. The film opens in theaters on Thursday. We're joined this morning by Steve Weatherford, former NFL punter and supporter of Let Us Worship, and Sam Foyt, founder of the movement. Nice to have you two on Good Day New York. Rosetta, I love you. It's, it's so good to be back in town. And, uh, man, I'm just so dang uh, proud of my friend Sean to see what he's been taking his gifts to do to bless people literally all over the world, but primarily over these last two years. Roseanne, there's so many people uh, who are hurting, that are depressed, that are lonely, and to see somebody take their gifts and travel the country and just bless people, spread joy, spread hope, spread so, the gospel of Jesus Christ. It was really powerful. So, so I'm, Steve, I'm so thankful to be alongside of him, Rosanna. I, I know. And Steve, you were sending me all the videos last night from Times Square where there was a, a great big gathering. Sean, nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, last night was incredible. I mean, of course, uh, the world knows Times Square. It's a really noisy, wild, busy, chaotic, fun place. But last night, we worshiped our hearts out. We had thousands and thousands of people. Um, some of the, one of the police estimated up to 5,000 people that were gathered and, and crammed in there. And we were just singing our hearts out. So much joy, so much hope, like a real spirit of unity uh, came over that place. And it was, it was something I'll never forget. Sean, I, I think we all need, you know, to believe in something, especially after going through the pandemic. But you got a little criticism, maybe a lot of criti criticism, because you were out there preaching and keeping people together during the height of the lockdown. Yeah, I mean, that hence the title super spreader. You know, that's what we were called. You know, I was I was based in California, although we did come to New York a few times and strip clubs were open and bars were open and you know, marijuana dispensaries were deemed essential, but the church was closed and the church was mm. called super spreaders. And so, you know, we kind of took that title on and we just said, you know what? We kind of are super spreaders, but but not of the virus because we had we had no, uh, you know, linked outbreaks to any of our gatherings, but we are super spreaders of hope and joy and unity and kindness and and so, yeah, anyway, that's where the name comes from, the documentary. We did endure a lot of controversy. However, God showed up in city after city after city. I can't wait for everyone to see it. We have a little clip of your new documentary uh, that comes out in theaters September 29th. Let's take a look at Super Spreader. America's bedrock principle of religious freedom is being severely tested by the pandemic. I could feel something inside of me like we got to take a stand. Christian singer and activist Sean Foyt leading what's called Let Us Worship. Christians are rising up, I'm telling you. This is not political, this is biblical. Light overcomes darkness every day. All right, it's out Thursday in theaters everywhere. And Steve, you're involved with the movement, obviously, and you're also a life coach, right? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, it's essentially what, what I believe my calling is, and your calling too, Rosanna, is to, is to build relationship and then lead people. Um, and that's what Fox 5 Good Day is about. It's about informing people. It's about creating connection. It's about creating relationship. And I've been able to create a great relationship with Sean, and I just believe in the man that he is. I believe in the God that he serves. And uh, in whatever city he's going to, if my family will and my wife will let me go, I'll be there supporting him. That's so nice. Mimo, you're also in town, Steve, because you're a legend, and the Giants, <laughs> and, and the Giants uh, invited you back tonight. Big game. Yeah, with Monday Night Football, we're playing them Cowboys. And so, uh, man, we know how much we love our, our football. And so it's going to be cool because I had no idea. I was just taking my wife just flew in last night. I was going to take her to a game because I've actually never been to a Monday Night Football game um, as a as a, um, as a a fan. So it'll be really fun to go back there and then to go out at halftime and, and to be honored because I was a part of a Super Bowl team. It's very special. So it's good to be back, Rosanna. Are you taking the kids with you? How, wait, how many kids do you have now? I, I've lost count, Steve. <laughs> like you ask me that every time I come on here. We got six, and uh, no, this is just going to be a getaway just for my wife and I to enjoy 
uh, that said, hey, we're going to come see you when you get off, off of work. We're going to go shopping, <laughs> and we're going to enjoy a football game, just the, just the two of us. But to answer your question, I have six. And the last, the last child we have, his name was Kingston Craft, and he was 12 pounds and three ounces. <laughs> oh, God bless. God bless. All right, so Sam, <laughs> what are you doing? I know you had that big event last night. Uh, what will you be doing today? Uh, or is the movement moving to another city? Uh, yeah, so we were in Philly uh, on Saturday, and we were in New York on Sunday, and the next big event's going to be Washington, D.C. on the National Mall on October 22nd. That's going to be our biggest event of the year, so everybody should come. All the New Yorkers, all the fun New Yorkers, we need you down in D.C. All right, do you have Let's some go. words of wisdom for us today? I think, you know, we've been hearing a lot lately about, you know, everybody's suffering from anxiety, high anxiety, whether you're a child, whether you're an adult. We're all feeling the effects of the pandemic. Give us, give us something uh, to kind of readjust our brains this morning. Yeah, I feel like, you know, when you let go of that stuff, this is a moment that happened last night at Times Square that was so profound, you know, thousands of people, we just surrendered our burdens. You know, it says in the Bible that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. But when we give all that stuff, when we give our stress away, when we give our anxiety away, when we give our fears away, God releases peace over us and hope over us and, 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 and breakthrough over us. So that's my prayer today, that anybody battling that would just give it to God. Just surrender. Open your hands and just give it to him. All right, Mr. Foyt, nice to talk to you today. Uh, Mr. Weatherford, say hello to your lovely wife, Laura, for me. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming. I will. I love you. Love you. And congratulations tonight. All right. Thank you. Thank Love you. you.